Hey there, welcome back to Inside Pro Cycling Television. We are in Italy, we are in a lovely place with another champion. He used to be the last winner of the Switzerland National Championship in time trial. His name is Rubens Pertoyati. He's a rider for a uh, Dicky Giovanni team. He used to race for Lampre team, Sunia Duval. So, but we, we asked him and uh, we can know something more about these guys uh, from his voice. Uh, ciao Rubens. Ciao. Good afternoon, thank you very much for your time. We are here in Italy. You are here in Italy in vacation after a very big effort and uh, here with your wife, relax. So, what's the last victory? Tell us uh, something about uh, your last big performance. Yes, last week uh, I won the Swiss Championships in uh, Christetten uh, in time trial, which is a really good effort for me. Uh, I did 48.5 uh, kilometers an hour. Almost uh, 50 kilometers per hour, <laughs> you are crazy, I think. Uh, uh, for me, it was uh, really a, a good day for, for my, my effort. Can we say that he, maybe you are one of the faster boys around the world on these days? Yes, um, that day I was, uh, I was really strong. And no, 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 not only that day, please, <laughs> don't be too modest. I think you are one of the faster right now. <laughs> uh, if, uh, if I have the right day, I can, uh, I can really be one of the big ones. Yeah, so, uh, can you tell us something about the special preparation for this kind of event? Uh, we know that uh, you just raced the last edition of the Giro d'Italia. Tell us something special, maybe some tip to be ready for this such a big event. Yes, we did the Giro and uh, the Giro was really hard this year. Uh, so after the Giro, it was important to recover all the efforts uh, uh, try to be calm for one week and a half. Yeah. After that, I, I, try, I started uh, going out on a TT bike, uh, which is important to, to fix uh, all the small things uh, in the position, uh, to have the right feelings with the bike, and, uh, and do some uh, special exercises, like uh, uh, at the uh, you, at the level you do in the race. So anyway, the Giro d'Italia was very important to be ready for this. Yes, because uh, three weeks of racing are... And you got a second in one stage. Yes. <laughs> Good. So three weeks of races are uh, the best training ever. Who won that stage? <laughs> uh, Matthew Lloyd. Matthew Lloyd, the Australian rider from... Yes. Uh, from Lotto. Lotto. Lotto Omega team. Pharma. So, uh, <laughs> we said maybe you are one of the faster on these days. Uh, your career is... How many years in professional? 11. This is my 11th year in professional. You are getting old. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, the time trial is one of the most important victories for you, but it is not the only victory of your career. We know something special about yourself, about the Tour de France. Can, tell, uh, can you tell us what is happened in the Tour de France 2002? Yes, I, I managed to win the, the, the first stage after the prologue and uh, I got the yellow jersey and uh, this was really, uh, really a big dream that came through that day. Congratulations. Yes. So, uh, what's the feeling to be in yellow jersey, to be on the top of the Tour de France podium for one day or more days because you was in yellow jersey for a few days in a row? Few, for two days. Two days. So, uh, the, so tell us. What's the feeling? Did you sleep any hour that night? Uh, it was uh, really hard to, to, to sleep uh, that night because... Uh, Did you watch the yellow jersey all yes, the night? because it was <laughs> unexpected because I, yeah. I tried the last kilometer and I won the stage. And a very the, young age. Yes, it was, yeah, it was young and uh, with the, all the big riders like Armstrong, like uh, Jalabert, uh, I was there with them uh, on the first line of the race and it was... Uh, uh, like a dream. <laughs> yeah, I think so. So, uh, the Tour de France victory did change your life, did change your career. Tell us something more about because of from the 2002 to the 2010, uh, many years just passed. And uh, uh, yes, uh, I think uh, it is uh, uh, really a question. Yeah, it's the microphone. Ah, no yes. worries, no worries. You can ah, talk. Okay. Here. Uh, I think uh, my, my career started there and uh, I was uh, from that day on uh, well known in the peloton and uh, after this uh, I, did, uh, I did do good races but it was uh, not easy to uh, repeat such a big, uh, uh, a big victory. So now you are the Switzerland Championship 
uh, Switzerland champion in the time trial, what about the future? So now you have a very big responsibility to represent your country around the world. Uh, what about the future? What about your next goal? Uh, can we say something about your f next team or do you still spend the, ten the next year in the Dicky Giovanni team or any change? Tell us something about the future. Actually, uh, now I don't know, uh, but uh, my next goals are uh, obviously the World Championships, uh, time trial and road race in Australia, and after the Crono de Nation in, uh, in France, uh, which are two, two good races for me, and uh, I hope to, to find a good team, uh, if it is uh, Androni di Qui Giovanni, okay, but uh, I'm uh, really open to every possibility. Okay, so... Uh, my question now is what's your ambition for the Australian World Championship? Do you think to be ready to move from the national jersey to uh, the World to Champion jersey? I think it's uh, really difficult but uh, you have to have objective uh, and uh, for me I think uh, it would be really a good, uh, a good uh, effort if I can finish in the first 10 of the world championships uh, would be a, 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 like a dream. Okay, what about the special preparation for the world championship? From now, we are in July, early of July, uh, and the world championship is around the end of September, early of October. So what about the preparation? Where do you go uh, next? My next day uh, will go in the mountain, to do a good training in the, in the mountain and uh, at, uh, altitude training. Altitude training uh, to prepare well the second part of the season, which is a lot of one-day races. Uh, these races uh, will prepare me for 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 the beginning of uh, of September and uh, and to go there in the in the end of September in Australia. One more question is: What about the mental in time trial? So we know that's a very short but very huge effort. Uh, how much is important the mental in that kind of race? Yes, uh, it's a really uh, mental effort. Uh, you have to have the right attitude, the right uh, uh, feelings with the bike, the technical skills, and uh, and the, and, the, and the power to to push the bike uh, to 50 kilometers per hour for one hour. Okay, so thank you very much for your time, thank you very much for your secrets <laughs> <laughs> and uh, absolutely everybody of Cyprus Cycling Television wish you all the best in Australia. We know more months before to get in Australia for the World Championship and the best luck. Uh, we hope to see you in the Tour de France next year to represent your country and maybe one more time in the uh, cross. Jersey and uh, thank you very much absolutely thank you very thank much you. And, and we uh, can say this morning we went for a ride together he's a very fast boy guys I suggest you don't go with him you just watch <laughs> him on television he's the best play to see Rubens Bertoiati grazie ancora ciao everybody see you next time bye ciao